Greetings, music technology students. I'm here in my office today with the one and only Haley Mahanen. And she has come in seeking advice and knowledge on how to do hyperscribe in finale. And so I'm going to show her and she's going to ask questions if she doesn't understand. So first things first, let's open up finale. And for, oh, for this assignment, we are going to actually go into templates right here. You're going to click on church templates, on hymnal. Okay. And then we're going to set this up like we would any score. So we are going to do nearer my God, whoops, to the no subtitle for composer. Go ahead and put in Adams, Adams, Mason, and then your last name just for me. Don't worry about the rest. We are in 4-4 four, four time. We are in F major. There are 16 measures. Our opening text is gently, and we're going at the tempo of 63 to 76. Finish. And here is our score. Okay, so when you come into a hymn, click on your selection tool, click on hymn, double click. This is hymn number 100. See how I did that? Yes. Excellent. And then, of course, you can always move things around so they look nicer. And we'll just get rid of that. Delete. Okay, so now we're ready to input. We want to first make sure that our MIDI is properly set up. So you want to go into device setup. Uh, Okay, we're going to do MIDI setup right here. We want to make sure that it's USB MIDI interface and then MIDI output device. Okay. Then, when you do hyperscribe, you're going to be playing along to a metronome click. So make sure that you have your tempo set at a metronome marking that you can actually play along to on the piano. For our purposes, we're going to do hands separately for this. We're going to do one hand at a time. You can go in and mess around with layers and have it pick up everything at the same time, but we're not going to do that. I'm just going to show you how to put in one hand at a time. So we need to adjust our quantization settings because the MIDI is very sensitive. It will try and sense your rhythms to the shortest length that you tell it to. Our shortest length in this hymn is? An eighth note. An eighth note. That's correct, Miss Haley. Ding, ding, ding. Yes. So we're good to go. We're going to click OK. So next thing we're going to do, Haley, do you play the piano? I can try. <laughs> OK, go for it. So go ahead and put that up there. Haley's walking over to the piano, which you can't see. There you go. Perfect. Okay, so Haley, I'm going to click on the hyperscribe tool. Watch this, Miss Haley. So I'm clicking here, and then I'm going to click where I want to hyperscribe. You're going to hear, it's going to start clicking. You need to wait at least eight clicks, and then play, and then you need to play right with the click. Okay, okay. so let's see how this goes. Two, three... Four, five, six, seven, eight. I started on the wrong note. <laughs> I just realized. Okay, but you see how it captured it, Haley? Yeah. Like right there. Let's try it again. Let's try it again. I'm on the wrong. Okay. That is okay. Get get your hand ready. There, this there is why piano skills are important. Okay, let's do it again. So we click on hyperscribe. We're gonna click just here on the treble clef. Two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight. Good. Let's stop there. Okay, so when you stop, just click away from it, and you see what you've captured? Some notes. Yay! So that makes it a lot easier and faster.
Yes. Now, when you get into this assignment, you might encounter some issues with um, the... Um, I'm having a, the stems, the stems, and we can go over that one, one on one together. But that's basically how you hyperscribe. Very simple, very quick way to input notes into Finale. Good luck, bon chance, see you all in class.